reality show, Chase the Dream Baltimore, see a group of fresh and talented artists trying to make it big in the city and beyond with personalities as strong as their rhymes. Watch them navigate through life, love, and the entertainment business. Who will rise to the top on their journey to chase the dream? Visit facebook.com slash chase the dream now. Uh, as you can see, our special guest in the building. Hey, hey. Uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? I'm Montage, singer, songwriter, dancer, everything all in one. The perfect package. Singer, songwriter, and dancer. Yes, sir. Okay. Move over Chris Brown. Uh, where are you from? From Northeast Baltimore. Okay, the good part. Yeah. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I said I'm joking. One of the best. No, where, where, uh, where exactly? Like what, what neighborhood? Dutch Village. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, so, did you grow up uh, listening to a lot of R and B? Yeah. I mean, I really, I did, but. You know, everybody got that. You know, my mother was playing it in the kitchen, my grandmother, but, like, I really discovered music on my own because my mother was, like, in her, I'm kind of done with rap music, I'm going gospel stage. Okay. So, like, I didn't get exposed to a lot of R&B until about middle school. I kind of did my own research. So I'm not really familiar with a whole lot of the old school sounds, and I'm kind of, like, discovering them now, and it's good because a lot of people use that to, to create them as an artist, and I kind of feel more organic because I just got it myself. Yeah, yeah. So who, like, like when you said that you got into that uh, R and B, like who, who were you listening to? Uh, music Soul Child, uh, Robin Thicke, Michael Jackson. Okay. So those are some of my early influences. How did you How did you go from being a fan of R and B to performing R and B? Uh, just really was being in love with the music. Like just coming to myself, just talking to myself. Like is this just really something you want to. Dude, you gotta you gotta study. So I would watch interviews and, and look at other live performances of like the best artists of the time, the R. Kelly's and Chris Brown's, Michael Jackson's, and just catch a vibe. Like even if it was artists that I didn't really listen to, I just see just see personalities and how they responded to fans and stuff like that. And just made myself. Yeah. So um, I guess let's talk about like when you first went to the studio, like the first the first time. Man. Um, well, the first studio I ever had, I was, it was in my room. Okay. Actually, I was on a, a laptop. I had some headphones. And I just had this little uh, sound program called Audacity. And I would uh, record myself, play the beat. I didn't know how to upload the beat onto the program, so I would play it off my phone and record it on there. Like, like out loud? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I would just make little songs. And everybody I knew was like, oh, it was great music. Just the quality is terrible. Like, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm, I'm thankful for that. They wasn't just pumping me up, but um, yeah, I just started from there. I didn't actually step into like an official studio. That was I was like 13 at that time. I didn't step into an official studio until I was about 19. So, okay. so it gave you time to uh, hone your craft. Did yeah. you ever do the, the uh, talent show circuit? Uh, not like a big one, but just like local, like high schools, different high schools. I would go to talent shows. People hit me up like, yeah, come perform with me. Do a cover. We'll cover this song. So I did. I did a couple early. So you got a single out right now. Yeah, what's the combo featuring Y Fan Lucci? Okay. How how did you uh how, how did that song come about? And it was it was a complete accident. Um, the feature and all that, of course, was you know set up. But um, I had a different song prepared. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get him on this song. This song is cool. But then when I was on my way to Atlanta on the plane, I'm sitting there. I'm like, I kind of want to keep this song for myself. Like. I don't think this is the Lucci vibe. So I was just sitting there on a plane. I saw this female. She was mixed. And I was like, I can't put my finger on what she mixed with. Like, I don't know. I could usually, you can see if it's Latino or if it's European, African. Like, I just couldn't see it. So I'm like, I'm just going to ask her. So I just asked her. She like, yeah, I'm Mexican and Italian. And I looked at, mix. yeah, and I looked at Tony Austin. I'm like, this is a crazy, like, it's a crazy mix. He like, yeah, that's a, that's a crazy combination. I'm like, damn, that's a combo. He like, yeah. So we started laughing. So we got to the studio. I still couldn't really pick a concept. And I was like, I'm kind of stuck. But the producer came in, Buddha blessed this beat, and he uh, was playing beats. And just heard this one and just started singing, like, what's the combo? So I'm like, oh, yeah, this is it right here. So Lucci came in. We just sat down, vibed it out, and just made the whole thing from scratch. So y'all recorded together? Yep. So this wasn't like, nah, you sent in, I hate you that. Sent in yeah. Back. So have you recorded like that before? 
Uh, with a few artists, yeah, but then in the end, I always end up going back over something, meeting up with them, because I, I like the vibe, I like to catch the yeah. energy from people. I agree, I agree, and uh, it, it definitely, it definitely has a good, good vibe. Who uh, produced the track? Buddha Bless This Beat, he uh, produced a young producer out of Atlanta, he got some big, big records, he got a couple records with the Migos, he did a uh, big amount, Two Chains and Drake, so. Which is hot. Yeah, he got like four on Two Chains new album, Pretty Girls Like Trap Music, so he, he booming. So, uh, so you, you mentioned uh, Mr. Austin earlier. Yes, sir. How uh, how, how did that uh, connection come about? He actually found me on the Explore page. Um, I hit the studio like a week prior to him finding me, and I uploaded a video. He said he saw it on the Explore page, and he just was like, "This kid is crazy." He just commented like, "You talented, keep working," and I was like, "Whoa, it's Tony Austin." So I just gravitated to him, like, "Yeah, what's up? What's up?" And he was like, "Yeah." Uh, he's just like, it's just a compliment. I'm like, no, nah, I'm trying to meet. Like, I'm trying to get to some business. He's like, all right. So we, we met up about two weeks later, and probably a month after that, I was signing AMG. Yeah, that's what it does. That, that's what's up. So what, uh, aside from this song, what is next? Um, I got another single looking to drop in probably a month or two. I'm working on a project. It's called Perspective. So that's I'm trying to bring, yeah, I'm trying to bring that real R&B back. Not just 90 samples, I'm trying to put some real music. Yeah, yeah, I, I can hear that. So I guess what really is um, is exciting to me is that so you, when you went to the studio, you didn't really know what you were going to do. Nope. And you came up with this just based on the interaction on the, on the airplane, and that, that's good. That, a lot of people can't do that. And then, you, know, you know how a song, you can force a song and it just doesn't sound right? Yeah. It, this just seemed like this just flowed. Are we expecting the music video for this? Oh yeah, it's out right now. It's on YouTube. Um, we premiered it on Vibe.com, so it was great. Um, Double XL did an article on it, so it's, it's reached some big platforms, and I'm just grateful right now. But yeah, you can just search that on YouTube. What's the combo? Montage featuring YFN Lucci. So you move, you moving around around the country? I see. Yes, sir. Left um, and right. Yeah. So, so as far as social media, how active are you on social media? I, I would try to post like three times a day. I'm always on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I'm on everything. How how can people follow you on those platforms? Oh, you can reach me on everything. Everything at AMG Montage. AMG M O N T A G E. Get at me. Real simple. Real simple. Uh, aside from yourself, who mm -hmm. you listen to? Uh, one of my biggest, like biggest, biggest influences, and like my favorite artist right now. His name is Eric Bellinger. Come out of the West Coast. He's a writer. He was a writer for about 10, 15 years for a lot of major artists. Like he wrote Fine China for Chris Brown, um, Let Me See by Usher. So like he wrote a lot of big records. And I was like, so if this is the person behind all the records, maybe he's really my favorite artist because he made some of my favorite songs. So I gave his music a chance and I've just been listening to him ever since. So that's like a big influence. Eric Bellinger, um, I listen to a lot of Chris Brown. Uh, I try to really stay away from mainstream artists, but those are probably the two like most influential ones I bump. Uh, Beyonce or Rihanna? I'm gonna have to take Beyonce, but I'm not a Beyonce fan. I really, I think she's overrated. Like no shade, her talent, she talented, but I think they give her too much credit. She gets a lot. She, she gets a lot. Gets, she gets, she gets a lot of credit. She gets, she gets a lot of credit. Um, Beehive, I did not say that. <laughs> I did not say that. Yeah, I want no beehive. <laughs> They'll be attacking me. No, uh, no drama from, from the beehive. Yeah, they die hard. Nicki Minaj or Remy Ma? I'm going to have to take, I'm going to have to take Remy. She's wow. just a little more gutter. I she's, like, she's very gutter. I like the edge. Nicki tries to be, but I feel like she created too much of a, of a doll. She made herself too much of a doll. When she really, I feel like she wanted to be gutter the whole time. I like the, the old Nicki, the gutter Nicki anyway. So, I might have to take Remy Ma. Not, she, yeah. She, she, definitely she went soft on us. <laughs> <She definitely, laughs> last question about somebody else. Kanye, Jay-Z. Definitely Jay-Z. Kanye didn't went off the grid. Yeah. He's, he's literally. He's mentally in another planet. I don't even know what's up with Kanye. I think he's going to come back with hot music, though. Hopefully. Yeah. It's, it's in there. It's, yeah. It's, it's, deep it's down, in there. it's in there. <laughs> Deep down. Okay, so I, I know I can't let you go without asking you this. The ladies are going to hit me up. Uh, are you available for the ladies? Uh, are you taking? you single? Like, what is, 
what's, what's the situation? I'm really whatever you want me to be. <laughs> but now I'm a single man right now. Uh, I hope to stay that way for a little bit, but you know, God works in mysterious ways. So. It's, it's, it's hard with the uh, with the music. Yeah, it's definitely hard. It's stressful. So you need somebody's understanding. Yeah, trust is big. Yeah, yeah you got to have trust. Yeah. Ain't nothing without that. Definitely. So the song right now is What's the Combo? The uh, project is coming down the line, which you said is going to be called what? Perspective. Perspective. Uh, so hit the social media one more time. AMG Montage on everything. AMG, M-O-N-T-A-G-E. Do you have a favorite uh, uh, social media? Uh, Twitter is probably my favorite, but Instagram it has the most traffic, so I'm always on Instagram. Yeah, you can really get in, uh, you know, good interaction there. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, okay. You said Instagram. Right. Have you seen Rob Kardashian oh, man. and Black China's back and forth? Who's right and who's wrong? Definitely, Black China is wrong. She she's is wrong. terrible. So if she's he's terrible. not wrong, she's wrong. He's, he might be wrong for exposing those news, but at yeah. this point, it's like she, she put that on herself. He yeah. said she was sending videos of having, her having sex with somebody else. Yeah, and crazy. Yeah, she, she was wrong. And then like, he said she don't even see her, her daughter, so it's like. That's what he said. That's what he said. That's what he said. You know, I, I, don't, I don't think it was a good idea for him to post the, uh, the news part. So she has, if she has if she has the right lawyer, he might be. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. She might get another check off. She might him. get another check. That's she crazy. Got, she should have should have married him. Then she really would have been. Oh yeah. Straight, but you know whatever. So I my advice to you. Uh, I know you're gonna be out there. Stay away from the Kardashians. <laughs> it, it does Most not definitely. Work out. It does not work out for black men with the Kardashians. No. Nah. That's that's probably what happened to Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dr. I want to thank you for coming through. Anything you want to say before we, uh, before we get out of here? Oh, shout out? man. I want to shout out to everybody that's tuned in right now, no matter where you at, where you're from. All my Instagram uh, live members right now. Um, to everybody, I just want y'all to check out the music and join Team Montage. We're about to take over. New R&B sensation. Uh, 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 well said. Let's get back into the song. Let's get it.